we're given vectors c and d as a linear combination of the unit vectors i and j, and we're asked to find vector c minus vector d. Looking at the coordinate plane, notice how both vectors have their initial points at the origin, zero comma zero. The blue vector has its terminal point at the point two comma three, which means this would be vector c given to us as two times the unit vector i plus three times the unit vector j. The red vector has its terminal point at the point negative two comma one, so this would be vector d given to us as negative two times the unit vector i plus the vector j. We could also write the component form of vector c, where we'd have an x component of positive two and a y component of three. We could also write vector d in component form, where the x component is negative two and the y component is positive one. But let's go ahead and show how to find the difference of these two vectors using the form given. To find the difference of these two vectors, we would find the difference of two and negative two to find the scalar being multiplied by the unit vector i of the difference. And then we'd find the difference of positive three and positive one to find the scalar being multiplied by the unit vector j of the difference. So to show that we would have vector c minus vector d equals, again, two minus negative two times the unit vector i, and then we would have plus three minus one times the unit vector j. So simplifying, this would be two plus two, or four, four times the unit vector i plus two times the unit vector j. So this would be the difference of the two vectors. And of course we could also write this in component form where we would have an x component of positive four and a y component of positive two. Now let's show the difference of these two vectors on the coordinate plane. But before we do this, it'll be helpful to recognize that vector c minus vector d is equivalent to vector c plus the opposite of vector d. So looking at the graph of vector c and vector d, notice if this is a vector d, the opposite of vector d would be this green vector here with the same magnitude, but in the opposite direction. So this would be the opposite of vector d. So now if we take vector c and add the opposite of vector d, that would be the same as finding this difference. And there are two ways to show this. One way is to place the initial point of the opposite of vector d at the terminal point of vector c. Notice if we do this, it results in this black vector here, where this vector has its initial point at the initial point of vector c and its terminal point at the terminal point of the opposite of vector d. This is the resultant vector of vector c minus vector d. Another way to show this is to form a parallelogram using vector c and the opposite of vector d. Notice if we copied vector c here, we have our parallelogram, and the resultant vector, vector c minus vector d, is the diagonal of the parallelogram where the initial point is at the origin. I hope you found this helpful.